Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel, Express Your Data. In today's video, we are going to talk about uh, the latest thing that is happening in the interviews, that is coding test. Yes, guys, you heard it, right? Coding tests are now being, you know, given to candidates who are attending interview to make interview process easy and quickly. So if you are preparing at this level where you are able to solve these type of questions, then you need not worry about anything. So this is best way to filter a candidate for the company. So directly, scenario based, they will be asking you questions. Do it, take the offer. That's it, simple. So without wasting much time, let us get started and we'll see what are the questions asked. And while doing so, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe because regularly we'll be posting this kind of questions. So the candidate attended the interview and it was in person and you know these were the questions that were asked and you know they were he was asked to implement or tell me how this can be done okay so the first question is consider the below table and provide the converted data into required format so the input is like this so in this we had input of jim carrey but he wanted the output as like this now if you see this is question one, but this has five different forms or five different questions. So which is, which means he's testing you on string functions here. So if you haven't seen my functions video till now, please go ahead and watch it now. I'll be pasting the playlist of that and you know, it will definitely help you. I'm sure. So let us try to, you know, do this. And for this, what I'm doing is I'm going to my Tableau and I'm connecting to this uh, sample superstore. And then let us start implementing this. So if you are using latest version of Tableau, then there is a latest version that is available in Tableau through which we can achieve this. So if you observe all of this is in capital letters. And here, if you observe only the first letter is in capital. Okay, here also it is capital. Now we need that. So for that, uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking proper is the function here, if you see proper of I'm passing my value or function gym C A R R E Y if that is what he needs. So yeah, see here. C A R R E Y. Now let us see the output. And if I take this and drop it on field, we are getting what he needs. So we are solving first question. Now you'll write this in the Excel or you'll save it and show it now you'll attempt the second question 23rd jan 23 okay here is the requirement but he wanted all of them in separate column okay so let us try to do this now what i'm doing is i'm using split function and we'll see if it is possible split of uh, Twenty third Jan twenty three, and my delimiter is hyphen. So I'm passing that, and from here, uh, because we are doing at a calculated field level, we would uh, need uh, each one to add like this. Okay, so if I do this, I'll get one. Okay. But here, if we go to data source level here, and we, if we directly apply that to our order ID here, we will directly see this is the order date, right? Or rather, this is it. So if I click on this and uh, maybe click on this and there is an option called as split. If I do, automatically it will split that into three things. That is something that we can do at this level. Okay. And uh, here it is. One, two, three. You got all of them. And if you go and check the logic, it will be same. If you observe here and uh, if they will also be using the same logic that we have written. Okay, so that is the second one. So using split function, we can do this. Now, third question, if you observe, he has robot or robot. And, but if you observe this, the output, there is a no space in this. 
okay so now to do that again i'm taking our uh, standard string function logic that we have created calculated field string. where did it go here it is so can you guess what could be the logic or function that we use we need pause the video here and you know, try to tell me we can do it using uh, r trim for this because the space is on the right side if you observe okay i'll write uh let's say r trim of uh r o v r t and i'm giving a space here and i'm closing it now if you see the result here there is no space in this i can do this or i can use a trim function also trim function will trim the spaces on both the sides so that will also serve the purpose here both will give same result but because here specifically he is giving a space on the right side we can do it on the right that is one thing now here there are two strings here tab comma desktop but he need desktop from this and a tab from this okay now let us again try to get this and uh, to get this again i'm writing split off sorry yeah split function i'm trying to use and of this we have a tab comma desktop and from this i need only desktop so i'm just writing two so what will be the result here okay so we also need to specify the delimiter comma is the delimiter if you observe here also comma is the delimiter okay i'm specifying that click on apply we got desktop likewise if at all i want to get one tab that is what we got okay so this is how we can answer these type of string related functions okay now let us uh, see the second question here uh, I mean, I'm expecting like, you know, we should get five out of five from this. Okay. These are pretty basics. And uh, next is given table consists of month name, write an expression to compute month number of each month. So here January is there. Instead of that, we need month here. That is the intention. Okay. So for that, let us create a use case from for this for now. And I'm going to take order date and uh, i'm just calling maybe i'll create a calculated field here for month and i'll represent so month name i'm calling and here date name of month i am passing here because i need month from my order date okay so let us see the output of this so if you observe it is abc and i'm simply writing it we got that now I need a calculation which will convert this into this one. So simply what we can do is we can do it in two ways. We can either write a case statement for each month and get it. So let us write uh, like this. I'm going to show you do things month in number. Suppose assume this is not month name is in not in date format. Then we can do it like this case of your month name that we have created the new calculated field that we have created okay when it is january then i want one i am ending it for now just to check if it is working and i'm going to convert this into simple into dimension because i don't want that to be aggregated and i can write it here let us remove this now see here it is displaying the number here like that i can write it or simply from date thing you want to get directly then you can write a date part of month from order date click on apply now you got directly this so if your date is a sorry if your calculated field is a date uh, data type then directly you you can use this logic to get a month number but the issue is only in case when you have a string data type or in any other type then you have to manually convert that into the desired format so like this you can write two approaches if you know two okay and that is the solution for this now next is an interesting question 
consider below table of postal codes okay so he has given some pin codes here and he want to derive uh, locations on top of that write code so that all pin codes starting with 56 show as bangalore 11 as delhi and 40 as mumbai so this is the requirement here now okay so let us try to write a logic for that but first we need this data into our tableau so what i'm doing is i'm just taking this copying it and i'm going to tableau going to niche it and just doing control v here i'm pasting that okay so maybe i'll just convert that into a dimension here so that it does not cause any issues and if i drop it we are getting all the pin codes that we need now let us build a logic on top of that okay so can you guess what we need to write here if you guessed it you can comment in the comment section and let me see how many of uh, you are able to get this so i'm writing a simple if statement you can try for alternate approach here if my pin code sorry if starts with is the function that i'm using if my pin code is starting with 56 okay so if you observe here first is 56 right so if my pin code is starting with 56 so from here now what this will statement will do if for each of the pin code it will check if this 56 is there or not so if 56 is there then it will return true so i'm just trying to match that is equal to true this is what you need to understand what we need to write if this statement is becoming true then i want to print as bangalore i'm ending it for now to test if it is working okay so something went wrong here again you see uh, let us see the error here so st starts with is being called with integer and string do you mean string so because these are all in number format tableau has categorized that into uh, integer format maybe we can use a conversion function to get it string of this and now it is valid if i click on apply i'll just take this and drop it on this now it is trying to show us the exact value bangalore bangalore likewise now we need for 40 and 11 okay and what i'm doing is just copying this and pasting it in the second line i'm removing end button here so first statement when it becomes that else if it starts with of this is equal to uh 56 as bangalore 11 okay so i'm writing 11 then show it as daily okay comment if anyone are from delhi or bangalore let us see how many of you are from there and uh, i'm just simply ending it again to validate we got two of them so this if you are writing this at slowly line by line and you are trying to validate that this will give you confidence and confirmation that your logic is working it is not printing unnecessarily anywhere okay so that way you can always try to write line by line and execute it one by one so that you know later on you don't feel complicated okay i mean when you are in learning stage you can always do that that will definitely help you and build your confidence and now 40 is mumbai okay mumbai Marijan. M U M B A I. Now, see, now what is the error? So you got an error because mostly what we'll do, we'll just try to paste, copy, paste, and do it. Okay. But here, end is repeating twice. So I just need to remove it once. Apply. Now we got all of them. So if any other values other than these are coming, then simply you can write it like this. Else, not defined so because here we have null and it is coming under not defined that way we can write the logic here okay so that is the second question here i hope this was you know interesting don't forget to like share and subscribe 
Last question is again, little interesting here. Again, this is to test your logical ability. Here, the week sales are given. Okay, so employee ID, name, sales, date and target achieved. Now user want to find out total sales if date working day and target target day is true which means the condition that we need to validate is this out of this we only need to take only those where target is achieved that is the intention here now what i'm uh, doing is uh, i'm just trying to create an excel on top of this i'm just copying this and i'm just doing a control n and we'll paste it here and we'll connect it to this uh, data source that is my uh, intention here so just let us remove this dollar symbol here uh, i don't want and uh, i'm clicking on control s and i'm saving it uh, under tableau logical rest okay tableau coding test okay i'm saving it here and i'm going to my tableau to connect to that file here now click on new worksheet add data source select the data source that is there and i'm just going to that location here and I'm selecting this file. Let us go to sheet and I'm taking name I'm taking. Okay. And uh, what else we got? Target achieved I'm taking because that is what we need and we need sales here. Okay. And just converting it into discrete. Now, according to the requirement, we need only those sales who is satisfying the condition or target achieved is true so this is one target this is second target and if i see the total it is 600 plus 500 1100 we should get that is the requirement now let us see if we are getting that and i'm trying to write uh, a logic for that uh, sales okay uh, derived sales i'm adding okay if my target achieved is equal to true then give me sales and that's it okay it is valid you can do a sum on top of this like this or like i always say you can drag and drop to do the aggregation anything is fine if i do this let us check the result what is that we are getting we are getting okay 600 plus 500 only these two values and if i remove this we'll get what is required so here it is matching derived sales is 1100 that is what we needed okay so this is how we can write a logic for this and this is how you can code and you know you can start uh, you know uh, practicing this type of questions uh, for better results in interview I hope this video was helpful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Please show your support. Okay. And uh, see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.